In this tutorial, we will go through the RMX80 Digital's extended setup menu. To enter the setup menu, turn on the device while pressing and holding the cross fader start and fader start buttons located underneath the main display. The display now shows the first option, master. By turning the beat effects encoder, you can scroll through the various menu items and by pressing the beat effects encoder, you can select the currently shown item. Master. Here it is possible to switch the master output to either mono or stereo. The default setting is stereo, which is appropriate for most situations. If the sound system is hooked up in mono, or it hasn't been set up correctly, we recommend to select mono to make sure that the same signal is audible from all speakers. When installing the RMX80 Digital in a club, you may be concerned that as the night progresses, the DJ will inevitably want to turn up the volume louder. Limiter setting allows you to set or reduce the maximum output level of the mixer to avoid damaging the sound system or risking a distorted output. Set. The RMX80 Digital offers the possibility to adjust the Q button's behavior according to your personal needs. By selecting Mix, any number of channels can be monitored at once using the Q buttons to select. By selecting Solo, only one channel at a time can be monitored. As soon as a new channel is selected, the previous one will automatically be turned off. Talk over. The talkover feature of the RMX80 Digital lowers the main channel's output when somebody speaks into the microphone, for example, when making announcements. In the setup menu, you can adjust how low the output will drop when using the microphone. Crossover. DJs have different requirements as far as EQ is concerned, and the RMX80 Digital can be tailored to suit all of them. In the setup menu, the crossover settings controls the cutoff frequencies for the low, mid, and high EQs. For example, if only the deep bass frequencies should be faded out with the low EQ potentiometer, select a low value under the menu item Low. For a greater frequency range, a high value has to be defined. Mic Booth This option allows you to stop the mic signal being sent to the booth output. If a mic is being used inside the DJ booth, for example with an MC, this should be turned off to avoid unwanted feedback. Booth source. In environments that require two separate areas to have different music playing, for example front bar and back bar, or inside and outside, it is possible to route the RMX80 Digital's booth output individually. The booth source can be assigned to the master output, most common for one area, or assigned to an individual channel via the Q select button. LED check. The LED check simply activates all LEDs on the RMX80 Digital to check their functionality. Factory reset. By activating factory reset, the RMX80 Digital will be returned to its default settings. Firmware update. The RMX80 Digital is equipped with a firmware update mode which allows you to download newly developed features keeping your mixer current long after its purchase. To carry out a firmware update, enter the firmware update mode and simply connect your mixer to your computer's USB input by the dedicated port on the rear panel of the mixer. Your RMX80 Digital will be displayed as a new drive and the new firmware can be downloaded comfortably via drag and drop.
The update progress is shown on the display, and when the update is successful, the mixer will reboot itself. About version. Here the currently installed firmware is displayed. Exit. When you have adjusted all your settings, choose this option to save your changes and exit the setup menu. The RMX80 Digital will reboot by itself. <laughs>